Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Honky with Let's Play Strong Bad Cool Game for Attractive People. Episode 1, Part 4, I think. I think it's 4, maybe 5. I don't know. Yeah, it's 4. In this one, we're going to talk to Coach Z. I got no time for your shenanigans, Strong Bad. Coach Z, what's the good word? No time for jibbers or jabbers right now, Strong Bad. I gotta make sure this race goes off without a hitch. On in. Tell me more about this race of which you speak. Haven't you heard? It's time for the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race! How the what now? You know, the F-C-U-T-R-E-R! Every three years, the greatest athletes in the world gather to pit their pits against the most grueling obstacle course devised by man or beast, all in the hopes of winning the coveted Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race Silver Trophy of Ultimate Destiny! You mean the F-C-U-T-R-E-R-S-T-U-D? The Facutra Stud, exactly! So all a guy has to do is win a stupid race to get that really kick-awesome trophy? Not even close! In order to prove themselves worthy of the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race Silver Trophy of Ultimate Destiny, da -da -da -da, you gotta beat the best time of all the previous trophy winners! Well, that sucks. What's the best time? As it just so happens, yours truly got the best time, way back in 1999. Check it out! Okay, so if a guy beats your time, and everyone else's time, then he gets the trophy, right? You'd think so, wouldn't you? But no! After the times have been posted, I have to send a recording of the race to the official review committee in Stockholm for verification. Then, and only then, is a new free country yada 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 champion crowned! Swedes, I hate those guys! Yeah! So, is you gonna repeat yourself Just now? Just to summarize for all the kids playing at home. Uh -huh. All a guy's got to do to win that trophy is... A. Win the race. Check. 2. Beat your time. Yep. And Z. Wait for you to send in the video of the race so the results can be officially sanctioned by a bunch of meatball-loving Swedes. You got it! Okay. And let me guess. Just to summarize... Alright, yeah. Two. Swedes. Yeah. You... Yeah. After talking to my bad buddy Homestar, I, Strong Bad, have decided to compete and dominate the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the end of the race! Where's that starting line? Well, now that's gonna be a bit of a problem, Strong Bad. The deadline for entering the race was over a month ago. Oh. What? In fact, there are only two official entrants in this year's race. Homestar and Pom Pom. Not exactly a clash of the titans there, coach. Yeah, maybe we should have put up some flyers or something. Might have helped. Come on. Come on, man. Let me in the race. Rules are rules, Strong Bad. Only Homestar and Pom Pom will be allowed to compete in the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the end of the race. Are you going to repeat yourself now? Come on. Yeah. We're the end. Okay. So, we can't compete. Well, let's head towards the end. See what we got down here. A microphone! Play with the microphone. Hey, don't go messing with my booming system. Yeah. A hedge. Wow, who would have thought that Coach Z of all people would have really depressing shrubs? <clears throat> a turtle. Don't touch that turtle! Okay, and let me guess. Don't touch. Oh, the trophy! Maybe he's not looking. That's one Cretaceously big trophy! It dang well should be. It's the Silver Trophy of Ultimate Destiny, awarded to the winner of the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the end of the race. Of course <laughs> it is. You gonna say the same thing? I'd just take the trophy, but it appears to be held down by uh, gravity. <laughs> That's one crit. Okay. It uh curdled milk. Let me guess. Don't touch the curdled milk. Don't touch that curdle with the milk. <laughs> And a hurdle. Don't touch that hurdle. And that's everything. Is there anything else around here with the metal detector? I think this little patch of ground is already horked up its share of treasure today. Clearly not. All right. Well, in that case, let's go ahead. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and head over to Mars Pans. 
or don't. There we go. Hey, balloons. Taking marzipan's balloons, and I don't know why. Whoa, these are some pretty powerful balloons. I feel like I'm walking on the moon with these things. Yeah. Loose dirt. There's usually a dumb looking ficus here. Now it's just a patch of loose soil. And actually, well, I'm going to leave now and I'm going to go into the locker room because, you know, we pulled Marzipan down to the track and there's actually a bunch of dialogue that we need to have with her. So let's go back to the track because we didn't head well, into the locker room. Well, that's confusing. I went all the way to the track, but Coach Z said the race probably won't start for a few more hours. Oh, well, more time to get my garden ready for the party, I guess. There. And so now we could go back to Marzipan's. But first, we're going to head over this way and go into the locker room. And we've got a new email. So, tell me about the race. Ready for the big race to the whatever? Almost. I've warmed up, showered, and plucked my eyebrows. Now I'm just going through my pre-waste psych -em ups are you running a race yet? I'm not fully psyched yet. A little bit amped, maybe 50% riveted, but not quite psyched. Is this bothering you? I'm not touching you. Is this bothering you? Head in the game. Stay focused. Stay electric. Believe the cheese. <laughs> Ready for the big race? Okay, now they're repeating themselves. Uh, take a shower. I know exactly how to tell you this, man, but you reek. Really? I just took a power shower a few minutes ago. Well, let me check. Nope, I'm fresh as a biscuit. Sounds like one of those smelt slash delt situations to me. Ah, you're gonna say the same thing again. I really think you should take a shower. And I really think you're creepily obsessed with my personal hygiene. Um, yeah. I know exactly how to tell you this, man, but you- Okay, and we've heard that. <laughs> so, tell me about the party. Not that I care, but how are the plans for your stupid moron party coming along? Babo no. But it's been at least two minutes since Marzipan called me, so I assume it's going great. Anything else? Not that I care. No. Okay. This place, give me the jibblies. See ya. Fight or flight, big champ. No turning back. You made the sandwich, now step in it. Yep. And we got a trophy case here. Let's go to Z's trophy case, where all sorts of frightening and obscure achievements are celebrated. Yep. In the showers. Those are Coach Z's gym showers, aka home of a thousand and one humiliations. <laughs> you know, well, Personally, I'm more of a bubble bath kind of guy. A few scented candles, a glass of Chateau Boulage, a loofah glove. Or, oh, sorry, kind of lost myself for a second there. <laughs> Personally, I'm sorry. So, let's see, still got some, plenty of time left. Let's check out the lockers. I said, let's check out, come on. Come on, you can make it. Can't you? There you go. Hey, it's Let's fun. see. Full-length mirror, stunner shades, $3,000 velvet training bag. Yep, this must be Pom Pom's locker, all right. Can we screw with it? Even Pom Pom's locker is a bachelor pad. I think there's even a hot tub in here somewhere. Is there? Jeez, even Pom Pom's exercise bag has rims. I take the bag, but Pom Pom's probably got it all low jacked up. <laughs> Let's see. All okay, right. Now you're repeating yourself. Close the locker. Middle locker. Absolutely nothing. This locker. A limousine lunchbox. Looks like Strong Mad forgot his limousine, but they're in space lunchbox again. Normally, I take everything that's not bolted down, but the last time I came between Strong Mad and his lunch, he put my uvula in a sleeper hold. Ow. Looks like Strong Mad forgot. Okay, now you're repeating yourself, so let's leave the lockers Judy, alone. Judy, oh, Coach right, Z's door. Judy, My turn. Even if it weren't locked, I'd rather not go into Coach Z's office. Or the Temple of Butt Pattery, as it's come to be known. Hmm. You're gonna repeat yourself? Coach Z keeps his office locked while he's out on the track. Even if it weren't locked. Okay. Alright, well, I guess. Judy, 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 let's Judy, go ahead and head over Judy, to uh, Judy, Mars Apparel. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, shut up. Let's head over to Marzipan's place and end the part. 
This has been... Well, let's check out the loose dirt real quick. Hey, where'd your stupid ficus go? I was gonna pee on it. I've temporarily transplanted Credenza indoors so that he won't get trampled or peed on by clumsy partygoers. And, yeah, we got time to ring the doorbell. Come on, ring the doorbell. I'm back here, Strong Bad. Okay, and that's all that happens if you ring the doorbell, and if you do it again... I said, I'm back here, Strong Bad. Oh, yeah, I forgot already. I huh, wonder if anything different will happen. Knock it off, Strong Bad. <laughs> All right, well, we gotta end it there. This has been your funky Yonk. Let's play Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People. Stay tuned for part five, and I hope you'll see me next time.